in this video game of rap. I'm trying to take it to the next level. Kanye's changed the game as a live performer because he's made it very clear that if you're on that stage, you have to be on that stage as if it's your last concert that you're ever going to perform. As far as live performances, Kanye West made everybody step their game up, if they're able to. From the Grammys, to Coachella, to Watch the Throne, to South By, to VMAs, BT Awards. I've never seen a lackluster performance from Kanye. Even if he throws the mic down, he's upset about something. It's still a great show. A lot of rappers have a hype man or a DJ up there. Kanye brings out Jesus. And instead of just standing on stage, going back and forth, we're switching stage sets. We're talking to people in the crowd. He's gotten to the level now where he's a musician, but he's also a visual artist. So now he's conscious of like full on productions. I would describe it as Sit in the front row of an IMAX theater where you have to look up and everything is just in your face. It's theatrical, it's timely, it's unforgettable. Yeah, he's just always trying to push the envelope. I gotta respect that. I would love to, to, to see an artist evolve into that, but no, I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. So he's developed this thing where he plays Runaway every night and people know that Runaway, which is like a nine minute song, is gonna go 15 or maybe even 20 minutes because he's gonna freestyle in it, he's just gonna sing and he's gonna do what always gets called a rant. Um, he's gonna talk a lot. I saw one website publish a 38,000 word piece just collecting the things he said on the Yeezus tour. And that's like the length of a short novel almost. <laughs> I saw the Glow in the Dark tour at Madison Square Garden. Fucking amazing. First major coming out party tour, Glow in the Dark tour. He brings Rihanna, N.E.R.D., Kid Cudi. Like, come on, that's day one. And then he brings a mountain on tour on the Yeezus tour later. He brings that thing around the world. The Watch the Throne tour. Him and Jay-Z encompassing their entire discographies and their history together in one night. Those shows just show the evolution of what hip hop has come from. If you're on that level, your show has to be there. It's almost like impossible to meet his challenge now. It's like he's competing against himself. You're gonna get passion. You're gonna get hit records. You're gonna get candid comments. And you're gonna get something that you've never experienced and you never will experience after that. Kanye's live experience is just conceptual all the way. He has a concept, he has a narrative, and he just pulls it off. It's almost like you gotta wait and see what he's gonna do next. How can he top himself? In this video game of rap, I'm trying to take it to the next level. I'm trying to, if this is Mario, I'm trying to get all the coins. Like, I'm not just trying to run through the board. I'm trying to get high scores on this.